Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Link 10 Light Rectangular Pendant. This is going to be the 131207. This is the one that's using the clear glass. There is another version of this, same pendant, same shape of glass, but it's going to be offered in a different type. Two different types, actually. It's going to be offered in clear with bubble, and it's also going to be offered in white threading. That is the 131200. You should watch the video on that, too, and check them both out so you get a chance to see uh, both versions of this. Let's get into the size of the fixture itself, and we're going to talk about first the little, uh, the little parts of it that add up, and you've got 10 of these. Uh, so 16 point, actually 16 inches high and about 3 inches wide, and that's going to be the glass with little holder before you get to the cable coming up. When we talk about the whole size of the fixture, left to right we're looking at 44.5 inches and then the depth is really going to be just about that much. It's, it's, it's really about what the canopy is. Canopy on this is 8.5, so you're looking at about that, that kind of depth for it. Okay, so let's get into overall height. So now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. And this is an adjustable fixture. There's a pull-down menu that says choose your length. So it's going to give you two options. The 19 to 80 is one. That's called standard. Long is going to be 19 to 130, which should cover all of you guys. This is a uh, slope ceiling adjustable fixture. Email me about that if you guys are going to be using this on a slope. I want to see what you're doing and kind of get Hubbardton Forge's blessing on it. Okay? So those cables are going to be going up into a canopy on the ceiling. And let's talk about canopy now. Canopy is 44.5 by 8.5. It is about that thick. And the reason it is that thick is it's got a transformer inside and a driver. What that's going to do is take your line voltage in your house and, and transform that down to a low voltage, which is going to be going through the cables perfectly safe to touch and going down into those sockets into those LEDs. This is a dedicated LED fixture only. You can't use halogens in this. That's going to be pretty important. So those cables are going to be going up into the canopy into what are called grippers. And a gripper is just what it sounds like. So you're going to feed it up into those grippers. If you want to back it out, it basically locks as you go in, right? But if you want to feed, bring them back out, you take your thumbnail and just push in and it unlocks it, allowing you to back it back out again. Do not cut any wires until you get everything exactly where you want it to be. I want to show you more details about that canopy and a look inside. And how we're going to do that is we're going to look at the installations instructions. If you're on the page for this on HandmadeInVermont.com, look on that side of the screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. And this is kind of on all the pages on Handmade in Vermont. Take advantage of these things. It's going to show you a full parts list, how you put it together, which is super easy. Coming in at 39 pounds, it's going to be hanging from a junction box just like this. But there are other places on that canopy in those installs, instructions that you're going to see, you're going to be attaching it to your building as well. So this is a good time for you to see that. Inside of that canopy, you're also going to see a few other things, lots of drawings that show you every little detail about this. So, like I said, take advantage of it. Uh, those little grippers are always going to be kind of a silver color, almost like a chrome color. The cables are always going to be kind of a silvery gray. The face plate, and that's the part on the bottom of the canopy facing down, is going to be part of your finish options. So you have a pull-down menu there where it says choose your finish. That's going to be those bottom parts that are holding the glass as well as the face plate facing down. The can of the, of the um, canopy, that's going to be the rectangular part that touches the ceiling, is always going to be in black. So just something you guys should know. Okay, let's hop into those LEDs down below. It's going to be using a G4 socket in each of these. And don't forget, you have 10 of these. So G4 sockets are basically a small socket with little holes in it, excepting the two little prongs on the bottom of the, of the um, bulbs. And those G4 bulbs, you're going to be maxing out at 4 watts in each of these, okay? It doesn't sound like a lot, but a 4-watt LED is the equivalent of a 40-watt halogen, and a 1.5-watt LED is the equivalent of a 20-watt halogen. And there are bulbs in between there. There's a 2 and a 3-watt. Um, you're maxing out, like I said, at 4. So, and, and you probably wouldn't be able to find these bulbs anywhere above 4 anyway. But um, the best way to find them is basically to go on Amazon. Hop on Amazon in that search bar at the top, put in G4 LED and a whole bunch of things will pop up. It's really important to do your, you know, do your homework on this. Look at those um, very carefully because you'll notice some of them are dimmable, some of them are not dimmable. This is a dimmable fixture. If you want to go that direction, make sure you buy dimmable versions of the bulbs. You can also choose the color temperature. 
So you'll notice they kind of start at 2700 Kelvin. That's considered very warm white. And that's the almost like an incandescent bulb that's been dimmed down. That's that kind of yellow light. Um, uh, 3000 Kelvin, there's a, some of them there. That's going to be the, well, basically that's what's coming down in my hands right now. This is a 3000 Kelvin above me, which I consider warm white as well. I haven't seen anything above that. Um, on this fixture, because of the glass, um, you know, if you do the 2700 Kelvin, which I think you have more available on there, it's going to be, uh, you can get it to look almost like a, a pretty candlelight. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmaidenVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video. So it's really important that you kind of watch the video, use the chart. You can click on that chart on different things. So you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke. Click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron, it'll do the same thing. But it's really important that you understand how Hubbard's Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmaidenVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.